Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Marco Martin's Monday Mornings, where I moan on a Monday. I'm sitting behind a desk. It's a serious news show today. We're very serious. We're doing serious news things. Sitting and talking about news, important things like the elections. The elections have just passed in South Africa. And once again, the ANC is the party in power. However, they have lost their majority, which they have held since 1994. But the real news on the show today is that I was right. I was right. I was right. You went to vote. It took really long. You stood there with like neighbors and possibly old school friends, and you're still disappointed with how the elections turned out. That is what happened. That is the news today. Once again, I was right. You're welcome. You're welcome. (sighs) So we've arrived at the bridge. We said we would cross when we arrived at it, and here we are, disappointed in the elections and having gone through all of that. I uh, didn't have to listen to someone to talking about divorce. So, you know, small wins, small wins. Have you ever done that thing where you don't talk to somebody for a while? Just so it's like a sort of passive aggressive thing. You don't talk to somebody for a while so that they know you're pissed off with them. So you know how upset and pissed off you are with them. And then, of course, they don't even notice. They don't even notice that you weren't even speaking to them for a while. They just don't even send a message back or anything. When they do eventually message you, it's like as if they didn't notice that you weren't talking for a while anyway. And be like, oh yeah, remember that thing I said I was going to do about selling something? Yeah, I sold it. There you go. That's it. (laughs) Uh, And you thought it would be so impactful when you were like, you know what? I'm not going to message them. I'm not going to message them so that they can see. They'll see. That'll show them. That will show them. And here you are. They didn't even notice. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I walk past the absolutely, I I mean, obviously, this has just happened to me recently. And just to add insult to the injuries, I walk past the absolutely most phenomenal, beautiful looking woman I've ever seen in my life. Literally the hottest woman on the planet. I walked past her and tried to make it obvious that I was looking so that she'd notice, hey, I've noticed you. You're beautiful. You're the most phenomenal looking person I've ever seen in my life. And she managed to do something that I've never noticed in my life ever before. She managed to look right through me. She managed to look in my direction, but so distinctly that I do not exist if that makes any sense. It doesn't even make sense to me. It happened to me and it doesn't make sense to me. She looked in my direction, but right through me as if I did not exist at all. And that happened to me. And now I have to live with that. I have to live with knowing that the hottest woman on the planet has no interest in me. In fact, so little interest in me that she's able to look right through me and beyond into the abyss of wherever, whatever was behind me. That is exactly what she managed to look at. And um, I have to live with that, like I said. And at least I'm single. At least I'm single because I recently went to a restaurant alone, which is something I normally do. It's uh, part and parcel of the work I do and stuff. I go and eat food by myself. And in going to go and eat food alone, I sat next to a couple that was breaking up. <laughs> it's always great. It's always great going out somewhere and noticing a couple, noticing a, either a, a new date, like a first date, or noticing a breakup and having that breakup right next to you so that you can sit there quietly by yourself and just listen. Just listen to how this breakup's going. And uh, it was a gay couple breaking up this weekend. And I couldn't help but eavesdrop the entire time of course and I couldn't help but crack up at this one single line one single line from the one guy and he he just looked at the other guys like why are you crying (laughs) I let out a laugh at the table next door oh my goodness I don't think they noticed but anyway why are you crying oh my goodness I'm so glad I'm single I'm so glad that hot woman just looked right through me. It's less painful than being broken up with in public and being asked, why are you crying? (laughs) So nonchalantly, why are you crying? 
Why are you crying? And then the food came. They broke up. He's crying. And then the food came. Never do. Th- oh, my God. It was so well constructed by the guy who was breaking up with the other guys. Like, I'm going to break up with you. You're going to cry. And then you're going to have to wait for the waitress to serve you food while you are crying <laughs> in a very public place of which loads of people are walking past publicly. And and many people, they know like, oh, hey, hey, guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> while you're being broken up with, imagine. Imagine the pain and suffering that poor man went through. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm neither of those men. Remember World Star? World Star, World Star. There's World Star videos on YouTube of just people fighting, just laying into each other, whooping each other's ass. Now it's TikTok. Now it's your kids on TikTok in their high schools being filmed, whooping other kids' asses. And I just know if I were a father, that would be me. That would be me. That would be my kid. I'd be on TikTok. It's like, there's my kid laying into someone. Bookmark. <laughs> Bookmark. I want to see. I want to see what your technique's like, boy. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be that parent. I'll be that parent going around the office. Hey, hey, Jill, do you see my kid whoop that kid's ass? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's something you should be with. Shut up, Jill. <laughs> Shut up, Jill. It's my kid. Look at my kid. Look at that technique. Wham, 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 wham. Look at that technique. Throwing punches. Bleeding that kid out. World star. I'd be that parent. Be that parent. Showing off my kid that's beating the absolute hell out of another kid. Last week I spoke about scams. I haven't managed to scam successfully yet. I think digital scams are the way to go. But what is it with scammers, scam guys calling you big man? When you see someone in the shoes, like just the, one of those scam guys, like a con guy, just how he's like, hey, big man. Hey, big man, let me speak to you for a second. Can I ask you a question, big man? I've got a question for you, big man. Big man. Is that supposed to be like, is it the flattery? Is the idea that the flattery is supposed to like make me more susceptible to assisting you in your con, allowing you to con me? Hey, big man. Mm, yeah, maybe I am a big man. What's up? Ask me your question now that you have appropriately called me big man. Go ahead with your question, Mr. Con guy. I will give you 50 rand for your car that's broken down down the street or run out of petrol. You just need 50 rand cash for gas because your card's have been blocked from your ex-girlfriend. I don't know. Uh, long, elaborate stories, but they start off with big man all the time. Hey, big man, I've got a question for you. Big man. Hey, big man. <laughs> oh, big man. Big man. Anyway, I'm Marco Martins. Good luck with the rest of your week. <laughs>